Welcome back. Have you ever heard of a sea cucumber? Well, don't worry. Many of my colleagues have never heard of it either. It's a sea animal that's found along the ocean floor, and for centuries it's been used in Chinese cuisine and even as an aphrodisiac. But most importantly, it's also been known to help treat a wide variety of ailments, including certain types of cancer. With me again is Ty Bollinger, the author of Cancer, Step Outside the Box. Ty, as I said, your book was incredible, and I learned so much from it. Thank you, Carol. But the sea, the sea cucumber I actually heard about from a friend of mine who had undergone chemotherapy. And we were having lunch one day, and he said, well, I had lost all my hair. And I looked mm -hmm. at him, he had this big, full, bushy head of hair. And I said, well, how did you get your hair back? He said, sea cucumber. Mm. So, of course, that went me, I frantically went to the, to the uh, computer, sure. looked up sea cucumber, and found so many other uses for it. Tell me what a sea cucumber is and why this thing is such a miracle. Right. Well, I, and I, the interesting thing about the sea cucumber is that in, the, in Cancer Step Outside the Box, the sixth edition, which I just released, the day that I was actually writing that section on sea cucumber, your producer emailed me and said, Carol wants to talk about sea cucumber on the show. So is that synchronicity or what? Well, let's go for but it. So let's go for it. So the sea cucumber, it's not a vegetable. Most people think, oh, it's a vegetable. No, it's actually related. It's a fish, right? Yeah, it's, it's a type of it, sea animal. It's a little sea animal on, that's on the ocean floor. They're not very cute. They're not very cute. They actually are kind of shaped like a cucumber, thus the name. But they're not only antiviral, antibacterial. So sea cu cucumber has been used to treat gingivitis and gum disease. Okay. It, it, uh, the, the Journal of Oral uh, Health has published several articles on using that to treat the, the bleeding that's associated with gum disease. Okay. Works very well. But cancer specifically, it's used as an adjunct to a lot of people that are undergoing chemotherapy because it's very effective at mitigating the side effects of chemotherapy because it's been shown to be immunomodulatory. What does that mean? It modulates your immune system. So it